these were dangerous men with dangerous aspirations. They had the recipes, they had the instructions to make bombs, and they had started discussing getting together the ingredients that were necessary to put bombs together. And they also discussed, albeit it wasn't a blueprint, but they'd already discussed what they were planning to do. Seven to eight rucksacks, bombs going off simultaneously in different places, potentially huge loss of life. They themselves were talking in terms of, this is going to be bigger than 7-7, it will be another 9-11. So their own aspirations were very grand. Well, I think this, 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 the message that this case sends to people is that the police are um, well able to investigate these cases. The security services have the wherewithal um, to investigate these people and uh, the Crown Prosecution Service have the ability to prosecute them successfully. I think the position is that it potentially could have presented an unacceptable danger to the public. And I think what we've got to bear in mind is that we have the legislation in place. The police had been gathering evidence for a significant period of time and we had the legislation to enable us to prosecute these people. We uh, amassed over 25,000 pages of served evidence. We had videos that we served. We had audio product that we served. And the evidence was there to present a case. I don't think we should forget that this is a very serious offence that does carry life imprisonment.